<laughs> Welcome back. We're here with Chef Good Chris morning. Manning, and we have been just smelling this Smells from the good. minute you came in about a half hour ago. It is so aromatic mm -hmm. and very strong. We still concentrate during the news and the weather. Pungent this is aroma. Fair. Oh, so good. <laughs> fair. So explain what we have it's for It's such us. a great one, man. This mm -hmm. is a Lyonnaise. I've done a breast of chicken a la Lyonnaise. And Lyonnaise, a sauce from Lyon, France. Very, very simple to make. It's very rustic. Um, every family kind of has its own take on it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, my parents, this book's got a lot of miles on it. So <laughs> growing up, book, in case this is know. Everyday French Cooking. Okay. Henri Pellepre is the uh, chef and author. Um, just a fabulous book if you can find it. Henri Pellepre's Everyday French Cooking. Um, I had, didn't look ahead of time. I've just had this for years. I mean, I've had I this since I was like 18 I, I years old, Google, maybe even younger. Yeah. Uh, but my parents would go away. They wouldn't bring you a T-shirt. They'd bring me a cookbook. It was <laughs> kind of cool, you know. Well, that, um, that tracks. So yeah. Lyonnaise <laughs> is one of the sauces that's in this, and it's so, so versatile. And you start with just a little bit of olive oil, a couple tablespoons, and then white onions. And slice nice and thin and saute those uh, until your uh, uh, onions begin to wilt and then uh, fresh cloves of garlic and you put in three of those uh, there's two medium onions and then three of the garlic cloves that are minced only saute that about 30 seconds adjust your seasonings a little bit of salt and pepper i've got some chili flake uh, work that around in the pan for just a few seconds um, and then we deglaze the pan with white wine um, I've got a Pinot Grigio um, I, I like it's very light nice and dry kind of a grassy taste to it uh, beef broth red wine vinegar you'll always find in Lyon and Lyonnaise onions and red wine vinegar mm. then after that sometimes tomato paste um, I've known people that use ketchup even I use diced tomatoes um, I want sweet I don't want a ton of uh, mm -hmm. acidity to it because you do have that vinegar and uh, then brown gravy beef gravy mm. you can find all of these things every day you can, you can practically find them at a 7-eleven for God's sakes <laughs> so uh, you've got all these uh, readily readily uh, available and then this combination together it's absolutely delicious I did saute chicken breasts first mm -hmm. browned them both sides got them to just where they were cooked through and then put them into the sauce and just oh, let you didn't put them right in I put them right into the sauce yeah. after sauteing so, they soak it so up you've got two it. steps there um, also like vegetarians grilled eggplant Cut, oh. cut, the, cut the eggplant on the bias okay. and grill eggplant. Put the sauce over the top. You'll love it. Top it with a little bit of gr uh, grated Parmesan. Yeah. Uh, it just goes with so many different things. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, if you cook this too and your family comes in, they're going to think that you've been working all day. Yeah, it looks because impressive. Because honestly, we could tell each time you were adding something yeah. over there, we're like, what? I got here at five now? after six yeah. and yeah. voila. And we kept asking, what, if you, what did you put in there now? Yeah. We can smell it all the way over here. Oh, yeah. That's how quick, impressive. that's how simple, and one pan. You just, yeah. you can't go wrong. It's great. Delicious. Can't go wrong at well, all. Well, can't wait to try it, and it definitely, it looks wonderful, just like from the presentation. So we'll nice. give it a little try there, and then. Cozy meal for cold weather. Yeah. Perfect and for and this that was my th Yeah. That was my thought. Very nice and warm. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> you have no idea. All right, and then we'll have a little bit of weather coming up after yeah, we, we take a little taste.